Welcome to Desk Geek. I think this is just so awesome. What you're seeing in this video is VirtualBox on Kubuntu. This is my laptop actually here. And I'm going to install Android Marshmallow. And I'll have the link down below so you guys can go and download Android Marshmallow as well. And I want to tell you why I think this is so cool. So I had someone in another video comment about a app that they wanted me to try out that was on Android and I did not have an Android device readily available. So what I did is I started doing some research and realized you can install Android Marshmallow directly into VirtualBox. You can access the store, you can use it just like you would a Android tablet or device, meaning you could sign in with your Google account, you can get into the Android store, you can make purchases, you can download apps, and it works really, really well. And as you can see here, it's quite easy to actually go in here. Now, at this part, do you want to use GPT? You got to make sure you click no there. Uh, that's very, very important. You're going to select, you're doing a uh, partition just like anything else, but you do want to make sure you make this a bootable partition. Uh, I frustrated with that GP or got frustrated with that GPT part because I didn't realize that at first uh, and that I couldn't get the bootable option to come up until I selected no there and once you do that then you can partition the space you set aside which I did 18 gigabytes for this and make it bootable and then you just yes to write that partition and boom you're gonna have a bootable version of Android Marshmallow. Of course, we got to go remove the ISO file out here. But what makes this so powerful is if you're a developer and you make Android apps, uh, etc., this would be a great way that you could test out your app, load it into this environment. Um, this is a great way to go and play with the latest Android releases. You can just go to this website in the link below and download those releases that they have available like Marshmallow and install those and play around with them. So if you're on an iOS device and want to play around with Android, then you have that option here. I'm not sure if the other part is true, if you could get an iOS to run in a virtual machine, but I'll check it out and see. But I thought this was so cool and uh, maybe you already knew about it. And if so, fantastic. But if not, I think it's awesome to be able to play with a Android device from within your computer itself soon as we remove this live CD. Otherwise, it'll keep booting into this loop right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out. We're going to go into our settings after we power this off. And I'm just showing you here, if you continue to run start, you're just going to keep running right into that. You can go to optical drive and you can uncheck that um, Android ISO right there. Because it's just boot, it's just basically stuck in a loop booting into the uh, bootable partition there. So now when we click start, it'll go directly into Android itself. And there you see the options. You got debug mode, no mode set options, etc. We're just going to go with the first basic Android boot up here. Tell me this isn't awesome. I just absolutely love it. And you're going to go through a standard Android setup. And what I like to do is mouse integration here. If you don't use mouse integration, then it's pretty difficult to interact. Um, and you just use your right control key, by the way, that's what that menu popped up uh, to get out so you can get out of the screen to interact with the rest of your desktop. Uh, with you can use mouse integration, it basically takes the mouse and, and puts it within that instance of Android. So you're not going to be able to move outside of this Android instance until you hit that right control key. So just like anything else that checks for the software updates, you can put your account information in, etc. So if you already have an Android account, you can load it up here. I'll show you around the Play Store. You could search here, download any of the apps. You could buy apps within here. I mean, it's linked just like a true Android device. So boom, we're within the app now. We're using it just like a normal Android tablet. Again, I just think this is such a cool option, something for you to play with and experiment with if you don't have an Android device or even if you do and you're doing development work, etc. Great way to play uh, with the Android interface and operating system here. Don't get this far. Don't 
thumbs up, watch the video.